Hello, 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 and welcome back to some more Loom Factory. Honestly, I should probably binge through a few of these. Gosh, the game almost had me go to sleep without the music. I can't sleep without the music. I should probably binge a few of these videos, considering I'm going to be away this coming weekend. And be uh, distracted with family matters, instead of necessarily being able to record. Oh, look at my grass is ready. I feel like... I feel like I want to try to fight a boss. I should say that to you. Don't drown! Didn't I start up... Didn't I do a Let's Play series? Was... Yeah, episode one or episode two was titled, like, Try Not to Drown? Morning. It seems like every Rune Factory game has everybody Morning. be very excited about, like, going out swimming in the summer. And yet nobody ever actually swims in any Rune Factory game. Like, right? The closest we got to that was Room Factory 5, where it looked like people were way out in the middle of the ocean. But even then, they, like, weren't. Alright, so, as I recall, there's a little shortcut right about here-ish. Oh no! Ow, ow! Boss fight! Wow, that thing is huge! Yeah, time should be frozen, because boss fight. The boss deals one damage to me? I'm sorry, what? What's my defense? 29? Hey, magic defense is double digits now. Oh, if I attack the shell, I deal no damage. Okay, getting hit by that part. Well, this is probably going to be pretty easy unless the thing has like a million health. What's... What's new going on? Uh, really nothing. Finally got around to playing some Commander today. That was... okay. It's always really strange to play with new people who, like, actually just don't know cards. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'll play a Wayfarer's Bobble, and someone goes like, oh, what does that do? And my first thought is that they're joking, because, like, everyone knows what a Wayfarer's Bobble does. And then I realize, oh wait, they're not laughing. They actually don't know what the card does. <laughs> It's like, you know, someone coming around to episode 80 of this particular series, and I go, oh, I'm just going to water my crops, and then someone goes, what, you have crops? It's like me going, oh, shoot, I need to refill my watering can. What's a watering can? <laughs> and like, being completely authentic about it.
Yo, shout out to Room Factory 4, where healing potions are instantaneous and you don't need to get specific bottles for them. There are a lot of little differences between Room Factory 2 and Room Factory 4. The more I think about it, really. Okay. Uh, yeah, after I'm done recording this, I'll probably just go and play some more Magic Craft or something. Honestly, what I should do is organize all of my uploads for the coming week to make sure that everything is going to be uploaded properly. Really, that's what I should have been doing. Yeah. Set this to upload, and then after hanging out with Azura tonight... Yes, I'm assuming that we're going to be hanging out tonight, because we usually hang out every night, darling. Uh, I can't get up to it as easily as I should be able to. Easy, didn't even use up my entire room bar. Well, that's the second boss down, Blue Stone Tablet Fragment. Let's go home! You know what, since we're here, let's water the crops here. What, this crops be watered? Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, playing uh, magic over webcam. So many cases of like, oh, I'll use this card. Oh, what does that card do? It's like, this is the full listing of what the card does. Okay, but what does it do? It's like, this is the name of it. You can search it up. I can tell you exactly what it does in case reading it isn't enough to explain it. And I can also give you a summary of what it's going to be doing. Someone thought my commando was OP because it's not a creature during other people's turns. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's the point. They top decked uh, just generic removal for it on their next turn and got rid of it anyway, so it's like, not a big deal. Yes! Oh, to live in a small town where you can just, like, hang out, just read a book out in public, and people are like, yo. <laughs> Nobody thinks you're, like, weird for that sort of stuff. Or heck, maybe people do think you're weird because you're not participating in the, you know, swimming event that nobody does. I mean, very, you know, low stakes everything. Let me grab this. Let me grab this. Honestly, I feel like I could go for another boss fight right about now. I have an idea. 
Step one, go back to the school. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find another boss somewhere or other. Hi! Okay, so what I did was I watered the thing. I watered the thing to death. <laughs> I mean, like, I might as well take part of the in the plot, right? Technically, I could like swing the hammer twice, but I'm instead just gonna bloop. Hey, mother! You've been living dangerously. Hi, mother! It's not so much that I like to swim, I just like to play with the watering can. It goes splash, splash, splash. And then the baddies go away. I, hmm. I want to. I don't know how the heck I would do it. But I want to make a D&D &D character whose main weapon is a watering can. I don't know how the heck that would work. I don't think it would work, honestly. But I want to do it. <laughs> now, for starters, I need to make a watering can. I could play as an enchanted magical watering can. <laughs> if I could figure out what a watering can as a weapon would be. Oh, the monster isn't here right now. But over Miss Shrine Four Tundras. That's gonna be annoying. Okay, well, where's this thing, then? Shoot, where's this baddie? So I feel like I have to defeat all of them. Oh, I was paralyzed. That's why I'm moving so slowly now. I don't have any paragon. Disregard all of that, thank you kindly. Um. Actually, I want to kind of see what that thing wants. Right, four blue gems. So I do have to keep hammering away these things. Wow, I'm bad at this. Um, 
Right. Uh, D and D character main weapon watering can would need to get a watering can as a weapon to begin with, or better yet, make a commander deck where the commander is a watering can. What kind of abilities would a watering can commander have? I'd imagine it would be like just like an artifact, maybe just an equipment that can be the commander. That was the ruler of the giants. Oh gosh, I can't defeat the tundras. Like, there's effectively no way with <laughs> what that's asking. all this is, is the Tundras again. So all I can think of is, no, le like, legitimately fight and defeat either legitimately, no, not the Tundras, surely. Get four blue gemstones. second. Stay. Be good. Uh... First question, what? Okay, okay. So I need, what, four aquamarine and, like, three diamonds? Wait a second. Notification for something. It's nothing. Alright! So I need four aquamarines and four... Three diamonds. Don't know if I'll need any gems beyond that. I'm hoping not. But I was able to find that at least nice and quickly, so that's good. And apparently charging the hammer does make it... Does make these things give better things. Supposed to, at least. Um, two scrap irons. Oh, 
on Aquamarine, was it? Nope. Water Crystal. So it's basically just, yeah, no, keep mining forever. Maybe eventually you'll get Aquamarines, which we still haven't seen yet, for the record. And then, of course, it's supposed to be a boss of the next region. So we can still at least try for this. Yes, healing magic would be useful. Well, that was useless. Yeah, I feel like I have to just grind my hammering level just a whole bunch. I guess this is what the videos are going to be for the next few days. Me running from place to place like this. Gathering lots of supplies and such.
Easy enough. Still low-key wish I could have, like, a tier 1 hammer and just... Just so I can hammer away at those basic... Oh, come on. Those basic stumps for hours again. There's a gate that gets opened by defeating a certain number of these things. Just the main question is how many can I actually defeat doing that method? Normally, that'd be a fine method for getting rid of these things. Just not now because I can't stun lock them. Okay, so, I think I remember once seeing someone try to make, like, a homebrew, like, watering can for D&D, &D, but it was literally just a tool, not a weapon. So, I guess, I guess, strictly speaking, if you wanted to use it, you could use it as something of a club. You could either bluff it as just being a club and then just be a club-based fighter, I or use it as an improvised weapon and take an improvised weapon build, in which case you could be using anything, but you just so happen to be using a watering can. Or you could try to make an item and, because like, actually just flat watering the enemies shouldn't be enough to kill them. So it'd have to be like, okay, well, make it, I don't know, dispense like acid or something. But if you're going to be using you know, more expensive stuff. So it could be improvised weapon build. And then, you know, upgrade it slash replace the whole thing. You could use, say, a decanter of endless water and just and just say, hey, this is my watering can. It's, you know, a known magic item that I'm going to say is a watering can. Like, anything beyond that feels like you'll just be, like, either fluff or DMV at on if it actually works on it. Like, the DM allowing you to, you know, say that, like, Sussan, oh yeah, my improvised weapon is a water can, or to say, oh yeah, I have this item and it's like a decanter for endless water but it's like a minor version so it only does a little bit of water at a time or i mean you could have a custom magic item of infinite use create water how much so strictly speaking use activated where the use is 
well, when you activate it, which can be done as part of an attack. You got an ink stain. Oh, I, that's what he said for me fighting the squid thing. Right, go back to the farm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so. Sorry, just trying to remember the rules for making uh, custom magic items. I don't have it listed in front of me, but I believe it's, you know, character level plus spell. No, character level times spell level times some amount depending on the item and how the item is going to be used. So it's a case of... Hmm. Let's see. You, okay, okay. I believe it's either 2,000 for continuous. We don't need it to be continuous, so use activated would be 1,800. It's like if you attack with it, or, you know, swing it, whatever, it makes water happen. It would still wind up just either being like a club or improvised weapon, or, you know, be fluffed into being part of another weapon. No matter what, I think that would be about 900 gold for something like that. So, if one could convince the DM, and I mean, sure, you could just have like, oh yeah, water and can, blah, 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 use improvised weapon, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 right? I need my green grass. Perfect. And then make some potions. And then just run around the entire mountainside and just smash all of the rocks. Just all of them. Yeah. Okay. 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 I have to be looking at my... at the, you know rules and stuff, but yeah, one could make a character that's just fights using a watering can. Sure, it's suboptimal. That's the point. Yeah, I guess watching challenge runs and special speed runs and stuff has kind of made me, uh, it's kind of helped make me not get ticked off at people so much. At like, oh, you're playing that game wrong, blah, 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 blah. Because it's like, hey, it's like, I'm not playing it wrong, I'm doing a challenge run. It's like, oh, well, if you're playing, you know, Dark Souls, you should be playing like a mage, but also get like, you know, sequence break to chapter seven at the start of the game to get this item to... So you have like this ability and then you use that with like this mage spell and then you get through all the monsters and you never actually get hurt and you can just uh decide to skip all of the cutscenes remember and like just walk through all of the boss fights and secret break take into like chapter nine and then beat the game and 
there, and that's how you're supposed to play it. It's like, that sounds horrible. That doesn't sound like a fun way to play the game. Well, it's not supposed to be fun. You're just supposed to play the game and win it, and that's all that's supposed to be. It's like, yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. I'm going to try playing through the game, but it's a challenge run. I don't do that. I just don't do that nonsense stuff that you we're talking about. Okay, how about... Four hundred G's. Just because that happens to be level ten. Gosh. If I can make it up to level one hundred or level ninety-nine. Level ninety-nine mining, and still never get Aqua Marines, then I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I figure if I smash every mining rock in the game every day, I'll eventually get the Aquamarines. But I mean, really, who's to say, right? I mean, like, yeah, at the very least I'm getting stuff other than scrap iron. I still kind of like how it made it work in Rune Factory 4 and 5. Where the different rocks were, like, separated by area. So, like, you had to reach certain parts of the game before you could go for silver tools, then gold tools, then platinum tools. Like, you had to advance in the storyline to get the better tools. Or to get the better ores to make the better tools and weapons and stuff. As opposed to like this, where you can just like kind of run through all the areas and get all the stuff immediately. It's just a matter of, yeah, sure, eventually you'll get that. Or, you know, oh, just keep grinding experience and your bounty could be there eventually. It's like, no, you have to actually play through. You can't just give yourself all the best stuff. Woohoo! Okay, apparently this place has it. Three more blue gems. Yeah, where's the place with all the rocks right around here? Is this it? Is this not giving more aquamarines?
Why is it back to giving scrap iron now? Yeah, I really liked the puzzle that was like Rune Factory 4 Water and Can Only, where you'd find some rooms, it's like, hey, there are too many enemies to fight them all. What the hey are we supposed to do? It's like, okay, well, keep refreshing the room until no, like, water element enemies are spawn in. Okay. Like, trap any fire element, like, with this, then do this. Okay, now you can start taking out, like, this element of enemy. Like, yeah. Eat this food before you walk in so you become immune to fire type damage. Now take out all, all of the electrical types. While the fire types can do nothing to you. And you have, you know, resistance to water thanks to your watering can. But there are no water, water types because those are stupid annoying to actually deal with. It's like... With this, it's... Uh, yeah, just run past them. Mushroom patch and defeat four tricky mushrooms. That'll just get us into the mountain, which we've already done before. Steal some apples! Oh, what's up here? Green underground shrine entrance? I guess you have, have to have, like, all of the green stones or something to do this. So it's seven or eight. Oh, no, no, no. So I need one more green. just one more green tablet fragment so if I go to the tricky mushroom place or whatever I, and kill a few mushrooms then I might be able to go there get like the full thing screen cleaning Vegas Falls No. Reset. Because <laughs> I just saved, remembered? Is it this area? One down, I'm guessing.
to three. Oh, four. Okay, cool. Four tricky mushrooms. Now I run all the way back up there. And that should hopefully be the last fragment piece that I need. Yeah, back when I was playing on the other computer and I could... I had all the stuff uh, typed down nice and easy. Alright. So now... I have all five of those. So now I can either go to Barret and have it combined, or go into this place over here. We'll potentially be able to have it be combined. I should just not be in the habit of. Keeping scrap away. Go here. I mean, fine, Barrett, where are you? <laughs> Barrett, where are you? I need you to do a thing. But also, it's probably just like at home already asleep. Well, we beat a boss. We uh, we are at the point that we can really make strides towards opening extra paths now. We got one of the Aquamarines Marines that we need. Still need three more of that, but we got one of it. An entire room bar is not enough for a level yet. Oh, nope. Don't get to go. Over there yet. Honestly, don't care too much about keeping the strawberries either. I'd rather have the extra rooms. Well, that's been this episode, I guess. Still just a little bit short, but you know what? It's better than that 21-minute episode I uploaded accidentally. Still, whoops on that. Um, gosh, yeah. Between all the things that I can do, it's so remarkable that I wind up doing so little with my life. With all of, with all of the world open to me of things that are available... And yet, I don't really do much of anything. What I want to do is play more VR chat and try to make some, like, VR chat friends, but... Uh, VR chat is still kind of public. <laughs> it's still kind of weird. It feels like any 
So a relationship that's found with strangers on VR chat is inherently shallow? Because of course it is. But whatever, it's also still just kind of fun to do. And if I could, I would love to play VR chat in like a big old gymnasium or something. Cause you can technically play VR chat without controllers, but if you play without controllers, you can't like move your character unless you yourself move. So just play in a giant area and just recenter yourself every once in a while. You know, at least like a 30 foot by 30 foot area. <laughs> I mean, a 100 foot by a 100 foot area would be much better. You know what? I'm going to try to make a commander deck where the commander is a watering can. I'm... The question is, how am I... How will I find a watering can commander where that's actually legal? And I'm thinking I'll find some equipment commander that's close enough or some artifact commander or whatever and just fluff that as being a watering can. That's the only thing I can think of. What, if, what kind of abilities would a watering can have? I have absolutely no idea. I don't actually have a sun drop deck because like what would that be? No artifacts, no enchantments, no instants, no sorceries, no planeswalkers. What are just, like, just lands and creatures? Screw it! Let's not even have the creatures, just lands. To be fair, I have had an idea of running all ten companions as companions for a deck, and I think that that could be really funny to do. Very low-powered. You'd have to break, I think, four, maybe five game rules to do it. But it would be funny. So, you see, it's worth it.